Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to unpack and extract Windows installer files which have been built using the Inno Setup tool. So this applies to many applications including most Windows applications that have an installer file. So um, for example, all of the ones that you can download from the GOG web store, if you go to a game in your library, you can actually download offline game installers and this contains the Windows version of the game. However, we want to extract this, let's say onto the Mac operating system so we can run them through something like like crossover or a source port and so I'm going to show you how to extract the data files out of this. We could actually run these files through something like crossover or parallels, however I'm going to show you a method that's not going to require any of those dependencies. So the tutorial I'm going to be basing this on, I'm going to leave a link to in the description. It is how to extract this roller coaster Tycoon 2 pack on the Mac operating system and the instructions will apply to the majority of inner setup games. So the first thing we're going to do is to install Homebrew. So I'm going to leave a link to brew.sh in the description. What we need to do is to click this button to copy this command. Then we're going to click the top right here and then go to Spotlight. Then we're going to type in the word Terminal and then click the first line here. And then what we're going to do is to basically control click on the blank space and then click Paste. And then this is going to install something called Homebrew. Here we're going to type in our password, which is invisible, and then press return again to confirm. So just give that a few minutes to fully download. Very importantly, you have to copy and paste this line here. So I'm going to control click on these two lines here and then paste them in a blank space here. This sets the path. And if I type in the word brew, we get the brew command working. The next step is to install this application called Inno Extract. So we're going to type in this command here, which is brew space install space Inno Extract, and then press return. So this will take about a minute and then once that's done we're going to navigate to our downloads folder. We're going to type in the command cd downloads. Here we'll press ok and give permission for terminal to access the downloads folder. So this downloads folder reflects what's in our finder. Now what we're going to do is type in the command inno extract and then we're going to type in this exe file. So first thing, I'm going to highlight this file and then after a second I'm going to click on it again. This will open up the kind of rename menu. Then basically I'm going to select this entire line, control click and then copy. Then what I'm going to do is control click and then paste into this file here. That's going to extract this exe file, press return. If you have this issue, what you can do is to rename this file without the brackets. So I'm going to rename this without the brackets files here. I'm also going to rename the corresponding bin file. I'm going to type in the command again, inno extract and then we're going to do this setup again. So do this and then copy and then paste here. Press return. So you can see here we have a progress bar at the bottom. So just let that fully extract. So once that's complete, we can move on to the next step here. We have this app folder and this contains the entire game contents. So this is the Doom 3 BFG and this presents what would happen if you actually installed this on a, an actual Windows computer. However, we've managed to extract it on the Mac operating system without using anything like crossover or parallels. And now we can use a source port, for example, RB Doom 3 BFG from the MacSourcePorts.com website and we can now run this game using the data that we've downloaded. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.